technology is in a shoe, but there's so much more to it than just a laminate package. There's a whole service package that goes into this to guarantee that the shoe is waterproof, windproof, and breathable, and durable all around. So we are in one of the labs where we're gonna test to ensure that the shoe that you bring out of the shoe box is waterproof, windproof, and breathable. And so we have with us Donna. Hey, Hi. Donna. Hi, Marshall, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, Donna works in the Flexor Lab, which is where we're standing today, and she's gonna run us through the series of tests that go on to every single style of a Gore-Tex shoe before it hits the market. So Donna, what do you do first? Okay, so the brand or the factory sends in a pair of shoes to one of our labs. We have three globally, and we all test with the same equipment and everything. So we're gonna start with our first test, and it's the centrifuge. So how we do it is we're actually going to pour the water inside. Right, so you measure it. It doesn't matter exactly how much water as long as it's the same. It does. Okay. It, it matters. Um, we have a standard um, to water height, depending yep. on the height of the shoe, depends okay. on how much water we put in. All right. Um, and also, we test multiple sizes. So we have a standard for a standard test size, but we can adjust that water depending on if it's a smaller or a larger okay. shoe. So very standardized to so make sure you get the same results all the time. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to take these shoes and I'm going to walk over here to the centrifuge. So this is really cool. The shoes are inside there now and they're starting to spin around. Instantly they lift up and you can see them spinning around at a really high speed now. So they're spinning at 250 RPMs and it causes a cylindrical force inside. Yeah. So if there is a seam tape failure or damage to the laminate, it's going to find its way out. Um, most failures occur within the first five minutes. Uh -huh. The actual test time is 30. So this runs for 30 minutes on a standard uh, like a hiking shoe yes. or a running shoe. It's really cool to think that you do every single style of Gore-Tex shoe. So if, if there's a shoe on the boot wall, it's gone through these series of tests that we're about to take a look. Well, that's very cool. I hope these shoes pass. I don't see any water yet. So we're not gonna stand here for 30 minutes, but let's move on to the next uh, test. Okay. All right. 